Top Illinois Democrats are now turning to the White House for help with thousands of asylum-seeking migrants who uh, want to get work in Chicago. WGN's political reporter, Taman Bradley, is in the newsroom with more on the request that has the governor, the mayor, and also members of Congress teaming up this week. Taman. Yeah, seemingly all of the Democrats, Lourdes and Ben, newly arrived migrants to Chicago must wait six months before they can apply for a work permit. A coalition of business groups and politicians are trying to speed up that process and, they say, help the economy. For local Democrats, it's a partial solution to the migrant crisis. Expand work authorizations to newly arrived immigrants. We have the jobs. We have the people. We just need authorization from Washington. These immigrants are ready to step in and take the hardest, dirtiest, roughest jobs imaginable because they always have. The city of Chicago cannot go on welcoming new arrivals safely and capably without significant support and immigration policy changes. Without work authorization permits, migrants face risk of exploitation, wage theft, and abuse. Every day I hear from constituents who have made their life in the U.S., who have worked, who have played by the rules, but they don't have peace of mind when they go to work. The Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce, as well as restaurant and manufacturing associations, have joined the call for faster work permits. As small businesses, we stand ready to help. We stand ready with solutions. Manufacturers like retailers and hospitality and hotels and hospitals are all struggling to find qualified workers, whether engineers or frontline workers. The Democratic leaders say President Biden doesn't need to wait for Congress. He has existing authority to act. But U.S. citizenship and immigration services is backed up. And the migrant influx carries political risk for the president in the lead up to next year's election. Critics on the left say more tangible support for states is needed. And on the right, the president faces criticism for his handling of the southern border. Policy. Little to say when pressed on how much they're spending to care for migrants and some of the issues that have come up surrounding shelters. We reached out this afternoon to the White House for comment and we've not heard back. Live in the newsroom, Tamon Bradley, WGN News.